Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today, there's a lot of things happening that I want to talk about for YouTube, my life, um, all that. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that real quick. So the first thing I want to talk about is YouTube. So they are making some changes in December. Uh, I think December 10th they go into effect. And I've heard some rumors about terminating channels. Channels that don't make money, for example, like mine. So I don't know exactly how it's going to work. I don't know if we'll get kicked off. I don't know if we'll still be here on December 10th. Um, the only thing that we'll know is when we find out. Uh, I don't know if you've heard about this. I'm not I'm not sure if it's something to worry about. But um, if, if it is something to worry about and you are worried, uh, whenever, if I do get kicked off, so whenever something else rolls around, I'll jump on its bandwagon. I'm, if I get kicked off, I'm not going to try to continue here. Um, it's just, there's way too much public, there's way too many people on here as it is anyway, and I just kind of get washed away in the oceans of people. So it, it, it's already kind of difficult, and so I'm just kind of, I'll probably just start somewhere else. But if you want to keep up with me, keep up with my life, um, I will leave an Instagram link down below and a Facebook link. I post on Instagram more than I post on Facebook. So if you want to see pretty much everything I'm doing, uh, I'll probably update it on Instagram. So if you want to follow me there, that link will be in the description down below. You can go ahead and follow that. And uh, that should take you right to where you need to be. So um, another thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, what today's video is about. Because that's the important reason that you're here. So today we're going to do wheel bearings and rotors on the 90s model OBS trucks. I don't, I don't know if people call them that. But, um, yeah, this is our 96 F250 that we're doing the project on. I'm not sure if you've seen it yet. Um, but this is a 96 F250 we bought. And uh, it needed the whole front end redo. We needed new calipers, lines, and rotors, and wheel bearings. So all that's going to be in this video. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be about brake lines, rotors, wheel bearings, all that. We're going to talk about how to pack wheel bearings by hand the old-fashioned way. If you know how, good for you. If you don't, hopefully you learned something this time around. Uh, something else is, what did you learn this week? Um, this week I learned that... What did I learn this week? Oh, I learned how to do radius arm bushings on these trucks, which I did not make a video about. So, technically, I mean, I learned it either way, but I didn't make a video about it. Um, we may have one of those in the future, depending on what happens with this channel. Like I said, I don't know what's going to happen uh, to our to my channel. My channel, and I'm like, I mean, I say it's ours because you guys are here, you guys are watching... It's kind of your channel too. I mean, you kind of make up the content that I that, that I post. So, um, yeah, the basic thing with YouTube, pretty much. And I know I keep circling back to this, and I, I apologize. The basic thing that they want to do is they're wanting to basically. So they're having to pay for storage of my videos or everybody else's videos that don't make money, right? And that's costing them money. They're not making money off of us because we don't have ads. So therefore, it's doing nothing but cost them money. So why continue to have us? Now, this is where I get a little confused. I don't exactly understand the whole system because whenever you're starting on YouTube, you obviously don't start by making money. So, I'm sure there's some information that I don't have. I have read through the uh, the, the terms, the, the updated terms, and there's really, it's not, it's not very clear as to what they're doing. Um, it says that they can delete our channel. Uh, now, that's not saying that they will. Uh, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen. So... Basically, they're making a rule that they can delete our channel if we're not making the money, which I know it's going to seem kind of unfair, but, I mean, like I said, we could pretty much get kicked off this app at any time. So, from from now on, we're taking a risk every time that, you know, we're not posting a video or we're not creating content for um, YouTube. So, I don't really know. Like I said, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what the future holds. I wish I did. I wish I could tell you, but I don't. So, yeah, guys, so... Without any further ado, I would like to go ahead and start this video. Uh, also, what did you learn this week? Uh, let me know. Tell me in the comment section. I really do enjoy uh, knowing knowing about you guys' lives. It, it entertains me, and uh, I just like having a relationship with you guys out there. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm just kind of like following my hand. Okay. All right, so first thing that you're going to want to get, pick up a couple cans of brake parts cleaner. Uh, you're going to need this for cleaning off that spindle, cleaning off the stuff that they put around the rotors and other stuff like that. So make sure you go ahead and pick a couple cans of that. And also, something to remember, I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times, and if you haven't and this is your first time, something important to remember, if you're ever doing anything brake related, do it in pairs. So if one caliper is bad, replace both calipers, don't just replace one caliper. 
if both rotors are bad, don't just replace one rotor, replace both of them. Because everything in your brakes and suspension works together. And if one of them is bad, it means the other one's probably going bad. And you're just going to have to do this job all over again later on down the road. And then this one, it's, it's, a whole, it's a whole thing. So just go ahead and do it in pairs. It makes your life a whole lot easier. So yeah, so um, they, basically the way that these work is, uh, go ahead and take a look at these old rotors. Well, I don't know. I don't them are very dirty. My gloves are already dirty. Awesome. Very happy about that. Um, so basically with these, you have a front bearing that sits in this race, and then on the back, you have the back bearing. Can you see that right there? That right there is where the back bearing goes. It sits in there just like that. So, uh, I, did, I, haven't, I didn't show uninstalling it. But basically, uh, there's no dust caps. Where are the dust caps? So these are old pads. Um, by the way, the dust caps, they're not sitting here. We're going to go buy new ones because I actually left them at my school whenever I was cleaning all this up. But anyway, so uh, with old pads, it, see how much material is left on these? I mean, I'm not going to throw them away. It just seems dumb. So what I did is I took them on the concrete over here and I got a nice scratched surface on it so that they're ready to be reused. Um, that's what I was doing at the very beginning of the video and everybody showed that. But you're going to need a tub of grease and uh, obviously your bearings nice and new. You can buy new bearings or you can clean these. I just cleaned mine. Uh, buy a $20 thing of parts washer, clean them up or just buy new bearings, whatever you feel like. So yeah, and then uh, obviously you can replace these seals. Um, they're not very known to go bad, and this one feels okay. It's still nice and soft. There's no cracking anywhere. So I'm just going to reuse this seal. I've reused them before countless times. Never had a problem. So I'm going to do that. We have new calipers going on because that's actually the whole problem here is that the calipers are seized up. And uh, something you don't have to do, but I definitely recommend it, is go ahead and replace the lines. You're pulling the caliper. You're going to have brake fluid going everywhere. These lines, I think, are $9 a piece, or $18 a piece is, I think, actually what we ended up paying for them. It's, it's, it's cheap insurance, man, because uh, whenever you have a seized caliper or uh, sticking rotors, it can either be the caliper or the line. The problem with these calipers is we can't pull the bleeder screw, so I can't actually show you how to test and diagnose which one it, which one it is. So we just, went, we just opted to go ahead and buy both and replace it all while we're here. If you're doing calipers... I recommend doing lines. You don't have to, like I said. But, um, yeah. So something to keep in mind whenever you buy new uh, rotor or calipers, make sure it has this. This is what's called a banjo bolt. And this is something that you want to replace. And these copper washers should come with it. One for the top and one for the bottom. Make sure that those are there. Make sure that you have a bleeder screw. Always make sure you have a bleeder screw. And, um, yeah. New clips are always great. You don't have to have those. And then whenever we go back together, I know I didn't show taking it apart, but um, it's pretty simple. Whenever you pull the dust cap off, there will be a cotter pin going up over going up over this piece. It will be looped around it. Bend that cotter pin down, pull it out. This just slides off. Then this nut is there. It, it, it's, it's no more than pretty much finger tight. So if you can't get it off your fingers, go grab a quick pair of channel locks, spin it off, and you're done with that. After that, you can uh, pop it forward, pull this washer and this front bearing off, then spin the nut and this washer back on the spindle with the front bearing out. Set the rotor down and pop a couple times, and the back bearings will pull out of the back of the rotor and stay with this spindle. Keep them from hitting the ground, keep them from getting damaged. Um, and I will show that once I get everything cleaned up. I'll show you more of what I'm talking about. Uh, I did this like last night at like 11 o'clock. So I, <laughs> I was just trying to figure out what I needed so that I could go by and get it. So um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started with everything. First thing that uh, we're probably going to do is go ahead and get these calipers and all that set up and ready to go. So I guess that's it. No, I don't know where to start to be completely honest. I may start with rotors because then I have a rotor and I can put calipers and pads on. We'll do the rotors first. So I'm going to get all this stuff moved over there nice and out of the way. I just wanted to start this video let you know what was going on. I, anyways, I'm going to get all this moved, and I will get back to you in just a second. All right, so cleaning off these spindles is pretty simple. Get you a nice rag. Um, just wipe all this old grease off. 
something to keep in mind if uh, if you're getting your rotors turned or something like that leave this grease on here it's a rust inhibitor you don't want these things rusting on you it's a friggin nightmare so to get sandpaper and I mean it's not really that much of a nightmare but it's just something that you don't have to deal with so why do with it if you want uh, take yourself some brake clean Try to get as much of this old grease off as you can. This grease on this one was actually really, really, really bad. I mean, it looked like it had been on here for the last decade and a half. Which it, you know, like back when it first came out? Yeah, so it probably has been out here for about a decade and a half. Um, so, yeah. Also, there's another seal back here that is actually tore. Um, you see it right there? There is another seal right there. Um, which isn't quite as important. I'm not going to replace it this time around because honestly I never have and I don't know how. But um, yeah, I don't think it's all that important. I mean, I don't really entirely know what it does. If I'm just going to, I'm just going to level with you guys. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I don't actually know what that seal does. I'm sure it keeps debris out of something. Now that your spindle's clean, we're going to talk about the funnest part of this whole process, packing wheel bearings. It's something that is a lost art, and I hate that it's a lost art, because it is kind of fun and kind of satisfying. I'm going to do one just to show Victor how we're doing it, and then we're going to have Victor do one. Oh, so we're going to be here all day? <laughs> nah, it's not that bad. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so, this is a wheel bearing, obviously, and this is a tub of grease. Grab yourself a nice handful. And put it right there. Ooh, that's nasty. <laughs> Looks like caramel. It really does. How does it taste? So, I'm just kidding. And take this and like this. You're gonna go. Pull this down. Oh yeah, this is a fun thing. They make what's called a bearing packer. It does this for you, but who would want to whenever you could do this? <laughs> But if you'll, if you'll look, it's going to start shooting up right there. Alright, do you see that? Oh, yeah, look at that. So you're going to do that all the way around. How's that grease feel? Carefully, carefully. Oh yeah. If you're ever wondering how to take off a pair of clubs without getting anything on you, that's how you do it. Oh. <laughs> let's see. Okay, what? let's see how this. Uh... How did you? Which? <laughs> In the palm, you're gonna hit. Take, take. Oh, that's that's nasty. <laughs> oh yeah. God. Oh, that's. Now nice. put that in your other palm. This is the palm I'm not gonna hit with. <laughs> okay. No, that's fine. <laughs> it feels like caramel too. I pick up that bearing and get started. Oh, fucking. Just do the jacking motion. Huh? I 
Come, come. Till you see a bead of grease come through. <laughs> oh, this shit feels gross as fuck. Oh, there's a big glob of it in the middle. <laughs> There you go. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> Got all the way around. If you're looking for a good time, this is a good one. <laughs>
let's get back to what you were doing. So. Sit there, and got the front there. Go ahead and grab everything you're gonna need. All right, now this is where pay close attention. There we go. Have that bearing in. I heard that air. Well, it was like a air pushed out of it. Probably some extra grease. Put this over. Spin this on. So, good way to do this is power channel locks. Power channel locks make this job pretty easy. I'm actually going to scrap these gloves. Make off a lot of this grease. Okay, so grab my channel locks real quick. Way too much input. So, what I like to do, just kind of run this on down until it gets tight. Alright, so then we'll play there. Back it off, maybe a fourth turn. Going on. Everything spills not. Make sure everything spins good and free. So now the rest of this job is pretty simple. You're gonna take this, get over that, and then they actually called your keeper. And then I'm gonna go find some cotter pins and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're getting to the point now where we've got our bearings installed, we got our nut installed, and uh, basically I'm going to pull this cotter pin out. I haven't used it yet, so it's still good. Pull this cap off. Um, so now there's this nut, right? So what I do is I run it down with a pair of channel locks until it's tight. Whenever it's tight and you can't spin this rotor, that's, that's, that's what you want. Then back it off and move this rotor back and forth. You should feel a very slight bump. You can actually hear it. Not sure if you can hear that, but that's actually a little bit too much. If you want about a thousandth in play, and uh, if you got, let's see, now there's no in play, just because I turned that that little bit, and that's all it takes. So that actually probably got it off enough. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good enough. All right. So, and honestly, this isn't an exact science. Uh, just get it kind of close. 
should be fine. Shouldn't have any issues with it. And then obviously you have to put dust caps on, but uh, I don't have those, so we'll show those after lunch. Um, but yeah, so now that, now that you have this in, put this cap on. And this cap is actually a 12 point cap, so that you can, That's a retainer. so that you can screw everything up and mess with your end play. Dang it. So, pull this cap off, put it right there. It should line up with the hole. Drop the cotter pin in. That's a retainer cap to keep the nut from backing out. Alright, we're going to take one. Bend it up like that and take the other and bend it up that way. And grab a screwdriver and do it the rest of the way. Go ahead and get it nice. It would help if you didn't put your head right in the way. Sorry. So now it's bent up like a horseshoe. That's what you want to see. And then this nut can't go back off. You can turn a little bit, but not hardly at all. That's too much. And actually, that's just right. If I were to do that, it's still within spec. So good. There's a little bit. Of, there's a little bit of range that you can play with. Get these kind of sort of accurate just fine obviously like I said we cannot do dust caps right now but um, what I am gonna do is take a rag send dust flying everywhere and, uh, just kind of lay it over it kind of like so do keep out of it. so that's good now we're gonna be done with that for right now we're gonna move on Calipers. I'm out of wanting independence. Like, what the? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, move these lines. That is loosening, right? Pulling down. Yes. I definitely just broke everything. Um, <laughs> Including yourself. I did not. So, these lines off. As you can see, that brake fluid is very nasty. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, we'll bleed everything whenever we're done, and everything will be good again. No, nah, just use that brake fluid. It'll be fine. You know, because you never have to change brake fluid. Right, David? So, one thing real quick. If you want to oh, that's, stop that's kinda, this from bleeding everywhere. That's kind of gross. If you want to, hey, wait. Yep. If you want to stop these from bleeding everywhere, push the brake pedal down. Hey! And it stopped. Yep. Put something in here to hold it. You're good to go. Okay. What'd you put in there to hold it? My hand. Oh. Let go. And the fluid will start running back out. Airy boy. Oh, did it? No. <laughs> Hang on a minute. It's gotta get to it. I don't know. It, big, it made a big suck noise. It was like... <laughs> Oh, now there's air all the fuck in it. Remove this. Pretty simple stuff. There's another line. Uh, go straight into it back here on the back side of this. Obviously, you can't see, and I don't expect you to try to see. Let me just turn on my x ray vision, Superman. I'm going to be listening, right? Yes. <clears throat> Don't judge my ways of getting stuff done. It's all right. Look, my motto is if it's stupid and works, it's no longer stupid. Oh. 
I'm dumb. I just realized how you can do this much simpler. So, hey, look, guys, look, you don't have to be dumb like me. <laughs> if you grab a hammer and a screw diamond and close this door and find your hammer. It's behind the tire that wasn't here before. <laughs> T hire. Grab this right here. Go in right here. Maybe use a thinner screwdriver. Okay. Do you see that little clip I'm beating out? Okay, after that it should be able to pull forward. The back! What the reason? Okay, there may be another potato clip. I don't really know. I'd like to find out. I don't know what I'm doing. So, basically just disregard this video. I'm okay. <laughs> but aren't you going to do that? Yep. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Re hey, did you say fuck up everything else in the process? Yes. Fine. Well, now is the time where you crawl underneath it and try to figure one out. Professional? This is the professional way to do this. If anybody tells you otherwise, they're clearly dumb and you shouldn't listen to them. All right. The only way to do things professionally is what's done on this channel, right? Exactly. No Which one is, else is why you're currently laying down on a tarp on the ground. Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> if you shit yourself. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I told you not to. You know what? I don't have to. I don't have to take this on you. Are you done? As much as I'm sure that they will enjoy watching you flail around, the real, the real, the real story is going on down here because you keep kicking your feet. <laughs> 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 oh, I swear to God. Oh, you have to take the fucking break on it. You know, kids, sometimes it helps if you don't smoke crack. This is crack. <laughs> it tastes like albuterol. But basically there's a clip back here, you push in and holds it, and then there's this clip that you bend in, and it keeps it from being able to have any play. Uh, basically the way to remove them, pull that clip off, shove it forward, you should be able to just pull this one off. Remove both brake lines before you do that, and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Hey. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I talked about it at the beginning, some of the more, uh, some of the YouTube stuff. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Um, I've, a lot of people are saying it's not really a major concern. And I don't know that it is, but uh, 
anyways, moving on from that. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. This is going to end part one of this. So part two will be coming out. Um, I was in there actually editing this video. And I realized that I'm already at like 38 minutes and I'm only about halfway through it. So uh, I didn't want to make a hour and a half long video because I don't want to make it too dreadful. 38 minutes is already a pretty long time. And uh, yeah, I didn't really want to make it a three-parter because, well, a lot of this is... There's not a whole lot in this video. It's just it takes a lot of time to go through all of it. Um, anyways, guys, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching. This is going to end part one. Part two will be coming out in the next week or two so stay tuned for that and I'll see you then bye bye Don't forget to like and subscribe it's not a joke do it